Welcome back, we got Doom 2 Map 01 Berserker. I'm liking Berserker, I'm having fun with it. I want to get a win as Berserker, so we're gonna we're gonna play until we get a win. Not in this video, but we ain't playing another perk in the series until uh, until I've won as Berserker. Maybe this might be a good map, just kinda stand here and, and kill everything that comes up to us. Good map to get a win on, I think. Yeah, let's use that parry bonus. Get that get that extra damage out of there, you know? Uh, so I'm thinking about the stories, and I'm like, you know what? Last episode we talked about uh, about how I got my name. I, I was delivering papers, saw the Charlotte Street, and I was like, yep, that's my name now. So I'm named after a street, and that's uh, that's always a funny story I like telling people. But uh, I figure in this episode. We can talk about something else. I haven't thought about what it was, but I made you think I did, right? I at least made you think I've thought about what I'm going to talk about. I have not. I have no idea. I'm thinking. This is the silence. This is the silence of thought. Um, we're going to just save up for the ion thruster, so we'll actually stick with the gravel. This is fine. We might get a scrape that we have to handle, maybe a quarter pound or something, but the Kravl can probably do it. It's probably fine. So, uh... Let's see, let's see. I remember the first time I realized I was trans. Not the first time I realized I was trans, but the first time I realized that I was different. Anyway. Um, I'll, I'll, tell, I'll tell the story of... of this. Um, so... The first time I realized I was different was when I was walking with a friend of mine, an old friend, and uh, we were walking behind a uh, an elementary school near me because we would cross through it to get to uh, to get home from work. We were 12 years old, I think, at the time, um, and uh, so we were walking. We were walking on that path, and I might have told the story already. I can't remember. Um, anyway, we we're walking on that path, and I said. You ever just want to be a girl? And he's like, no, that's weird. And uh, I'm like, oh, okay. Guess I'll, I'll never talk about that again. And that was the first time I realized that I was different as somebody who isn't comfortable with their own gender, you know? Really, you just missed me? How can you miss me? I was relying on getting hit. It was a necessary step in my strategy. And you messed it up by completely whiffing. Okay. Let's get the parry on this guy and then go up and smack you. You're gonna. Yeah. <laughs> That's also how you do it. Uh, so I was, I was walking with him, it was the fastest way to get home. And uh, that's when I realized that, like, hey! Maybe, maybe this isn't normal. I never really thought about it, though. Um, I never really internalized that, like, these feelings of, of wanting to be a girl are, like, a thing that I should be worrying about. And, uh, you know, I'd go to sleep and I'd be like, man, it'd be great if I woke up tomorrow when I was just a girl, you know? And uh, I never internalized it that, like, these are things that... I should be talking to people about and getting help with, because um, to me, it was just I'm I'm a weird person and uh, nobody should ever know, right? And I was already I was already bullied and stuff at the time too, so like it was it was really not something that I wanted to get into with with opening up that whole bag of worms and 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 opening up to people that I'm different and and weird and you know here's here's more reasons to bully me, right? Like it was never, it was never a thing that I wanted to, to open up there. Mm, no, see ya. Um. So anyway, the next time that's uh, whoa. Again with the. I'm not keeping my parry bonus up. That's that's really causing some problems here, right? Uh, I can't parry the clots. They're so hard to parry. You know what? I don't have I don't have 100%. I was hoping I could big swing it and just really mess them up, you know, but it definitely was not happening that way. Okay. 
Okay, you're gonna hit me. I'm gonna get the parry bonus on you. That's good. Okay. It wasn't until I was in my 20s or so. Uh, we're gonna go for the hit on the back there. It wasn't until I was in my 20s. It was around like 21 or 22 or something like that. Um, when I was in the shower one day. And uh, at this point in time, um, I'd already been a lot more not invested in the uh, the LGBT community, but um, at least more aware of its presence and more aware of like trans people. Like it, this was uh, like 2017, 2016 kind of era, right? Like at that point in time, um, trans people weren't rare, right? Like there was already a lot of drama around it with bathrooms and, and all this kind of stuff that people cared way too much about so I was I was I was very intimately aware of, of the existence of trans people and uh, what they meant and, and what they were and uh, you know that they existed and that there was help and that there was stuff you can do as a trans person to make your life easier and uh, you know I was still thinking like constantly like every night about you know hey wouldn't it be cool if I could just be a girl instead you know? And, um... Then one day... I'm in, I'm in the shower. I'm in the shower. I'm doing... Oops. I hit R regularly just... Yeah. I hit R regularly just to reload and whatnot. And this one, it just... You don't want to do that. So anyway, I'm in the shower. Doing my, doing my thing. Keeping myself clean. And I'm like... Man, it would really be nice to be a girl. And then I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I think, I think I'm trans. And then uh, I, made, I went and made like a Reddit post because that's what all of the, the newbie trans people do, you know? And um, they were like, I'm not going to say you're definitely trans, but like you seem, you seem pretty trans there. I'm like, wow, really? I had no idea that these feelings of wanting to be a girl meant that maybe I wanted to be a girl and uh, maybe maybe I am a girl you know and uh, so from that moment I uh, I came up to my sister first and uh, then I came up to my mother that was really hard to do though because my mother's not really too accepting of my autism um, like we, we haven't had the greatest relationship um, So coming out to her was really hard and she was offended by me saying that because You know, I should be I should be able to come out to her easy. I should be able to trust her. I'm like, well, yeah, but like you haven't really given me any reason to so <laughs> Sorry um, But it was really really hard to do that and I finally did and she was like So you like boys? <laughs> like, Yeah, but that's a completely different thing to, to being trans. That's very, very different things there, you know? Liking boys and being trans. They're like, you can be trans, you can be a trans woman and still like girls. Right? You're just, you're a gay trans woman. Right? And there's, there's, I know, I know lots of gay trans women. In fact, I would say that probably the majority of the trans people I know are, are gay. Like, the majority of the trans women I know are lesbians, right? Like, they, they they like girls and I'm not sure if it's um if there's a reason for that like if there's a biological reason like if um uh, cuz men right generally speaking men are straight right if you're born a guy you're generally speaking going to be interested in women um, and uh, so if you're if you're a trans woman, you're you're you know assigned male at birth. It's it's uh, it's curious how uh, that kind of carries over. Oftentimes, the majority of the times, in my opinion, where you're still interested in uh, in women even after being trans, like those aren't tied together at all, which I find to be very interesting. Um, anyway, I came up to my mother first, and uh, she was she made a big deal out of it, which I guess it kind of is a big deal. So. I can't blame her too much, but um, 
it kind of sucked because I was already dealing with my own stuff and then I had to deal with her making a big deal out of it. Um, let's go ahead and get a... Doesn't do much damage. Didn't expect it to, I just wanted to see. Wow, this does a lot of damage though. Wow, this does a whole heck of a lot of damage. Can't really parry this guy too well, so... Can't really keep my parry bonus up, unfortunately. Mm, chomps on me, man. Not into it. Not into the chomping. Sorry, dude. Okay, so we should actually be able to take him out, because this is not going so poorly. To be quite honest with you. Let's see if we can't get a... Shock on him, maybe? Just hoping to get a shock, but like the shock doesn't seem to be working so great. So we'll just go for, for not that instead. Um, so my mom eventually told my dad, and I was like, wow, I was kind of wanting to tell him. And she's like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know that you wanted to be the one to, to tell him. And I'm like, yeah, I kind of wanted to be the one to tell him. And then she went and told her, my, my grandparents, and I'm like, bruh. <laughs> Like, again, I wanted to be the one to tell them. Um, and uh, she's like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you wanted me to, to tell people. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> you know? It's like, kind of wanting to be the one that, that, that did that, but hey. Um, okay, we're going to be a little bit of trouble here, possibly. We have to start using the Ion Thruster for some stuff here. And we are totally dead. The moment we have to use the Ion Thruster against the Abomination, it's just not working. <sighs> anyway, moral of the story is I'm named after a street. And uh, my mother's been fun along the process. I'll put it that way. All in all, I'm in a pretty good place now, though. I don't want to sound too depressing. I'm happy now. and I'm good. So It's just a... Tales from your. I'm tired. Oh, I know what I'll talk about next episode. I'm going to talk about my tiredness. Look forward to that. Let's check out the, the stuff. And that's good there for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.